What's up, Odoers, and welcome back. Nathan here with another tutorial, and today we're gonna dive into how to import and export data into Odoo, a simple, efficient way to manage your database. Every record in Odoo holds valuable information from basic contact details to accounting or inventory data. In this lesson, we're gonna focus on how to import and export data from your database so you can easily make bulk edits later or even just use that data outside of Odoo. These tools are available in most Odoo apps with sample templates and flexible export options to help you get started. So let's jump into Odoo and see how it all works. Today, we're starting in the Contacts app where you can view all of your contacts in one place. Although we're using the Contacts app today, the import and export process works similarly across most Odoo apps. Here in the list view, if we click on one of the checkboxes on the left side of your contacts, we'll see an actions button appears. Let's say I want to archive, delete, or export multiple contacts. In that case, I could select these boxes individually, or if I want to select them all, all I have to do is tick the checkbox at the top. Next, let's go ahead and click this actions button. And when we do, a drop down menu appears. From here, I'm going to select export. And that's because I want to download the contact information. Exporting is ideal when you need to transfer data into an Excel or CSV file. And here on the export screen, you can choose to save a template or you can even choose your preferred export format type, which will be Excel or CSV. For our example, we're gonna click on CSV. Odoo also has a handy feature that makes your file import compatible. To use it, all we have to do is tick the checkbox next to, I want to update data. And on the left side window here, you'll see the available fields that you can export. Here on the right side, these are the fields that are already selected. Here we can go ahead and rearrange them as necessary. And we can also delete any fields we don't care to export. Let's say we don't need activity, so we'll delete that. By default, Odoo automatically fills in the most relevant fields for export. And let's go ahead and add one more. Let's say we need to add which state our contact is in. Once we find the field we want to bring in from the left side, all we have to do is click on this plus button. And just like that, it's added. Finally, we're going to click on the export button here at the bottom left. And then at that time, your CSV or Excel file will automatically download to your computer, already formatted for import, so you could bring it back into Odoo without any issues. And that's it for this export window. Let's go ahead and click close and wrap things up. When I open the downloaded CSV file, this is the template that I see. You can use this data as is, or we can add more information to it and turn it into an import template. And if we look at the right side here, we can see the state ID or state name column that we added earlier. So it really is that simple. Now that we're back in the Odoo Contacts app, let's go ahead and deselect all of our contacts. Now we're gonna click on this gear icon and from the drop down menu, we're just going to select import records. From here, you can import contacts, which is especially useful if you're setting up Odoo for the first time, or maybe you just have a long list of clients stored on a spreadsheet. It makes managing your data much easier and you can also use the export file that we just downloaded as a template. To begin, we're just going to click Upload Data File in the top left corner, and then we're just going to find our file on our computer and upload it accordingly. At the top, you'll see we have the options to test, import, load data file, or just cancel altogether. If your file isn't based on an Odoo template, Odoo will automatically match your columns to the closest fields in the database. If any of the fields don't match, then you can simply select them from the drop down menu, just right here. Near the top left of the sidebar, we have an option to use first row as header. We're gonna make sure that this is selected and you should too if your spreadsheet includes column names. However, Odoo does usually detect this automatically. You'll also see some formatting options for CSV files on the left. Some are set by default, and for this example, we don't need to make any changes, so we're just gonna keep moving on. Now, let's go ahead and test this by clicking test in the top left. And everything seems good. We have a blue confirmation banner here at the top, 
which says everything seems valid. So at this point, you can click import to bring your data into Odoo. And if you're importing a large data set, it's best to split it into smaller files for smoother uploads. But for now, let's go ahead and click import to complete the process. And that's it. How simple was that? That's all for today, Odooers. Today we learned how to export and import data into Odoo. The import and export tools are available across most Odoo apps, making it easy to update and manage large sets of records efficiently. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other tutorials to keep learning more about Odoo. See you next time.